the workshops to basically allow you know adults who want to learn about Aboriginal art um, and culture but don't really know where to go and there's lots of information out there and I think um, you know I really enjoyed doing it with the Swiss because it allowed them to feel a sense of connection to our culture before they wear the dress before they go out in First Nations round um, but the idea is that they create their own artwork a lot of the time you know when they're doing um, paint and sips and things like that they're creating someone else's artwork um, what I like to do is that they create their own story so all the players did their own story and their own artwork based off the Aboriginal symbols that they were taught um, and we did it in a culturally appropriate way so that you know um, they feel like a sense of connection to it but in yeah in a culturally appropriate um, system and way for us. Cultural education is everyone's business and it's not a matter of um, representation or having representation of First Nations people in the team. It's about this is a, a responsibility that all clubs and all businesses should be doing and if we're not doing anything we're contributing to that gap. Um, so for the girls um, to be able to understand um, and hear stories from Ree and from Tasha about uh, their upbringing, their families and their culture, uh, it hit quite hard and there were some moments there where they did get quite emotional and I think for the girls to understand that on a deeper level it can create um, a bit of empathy and awareness which um, a lot of the girls um, have shown previously um, you know with, other, with wider communities um, beyond netball and for the girls to um, hear this and the importance of creating a culturally inclusive space I think that's significant not just in their lives but in the Swiss community as well. Mm -hmm.